Hello, everyone. My name is Mark Oda Aling. I am the chair of the Best Paper Committee of the IEEE Custom Integrated Circuits Conference, or CICC. In this video, we'll give you a sneak preview of some of the best papers at CICC 2022. After two fully virtual years, CICC will be held in a hybrid form from April 24 to April 27, with the physical part located in Newport Beach, California. For the latest information on the conference, please visit the address shown on the screen. It is my honor and privilege to show you pitches of some of our best paper nominees in three different categories. We have five invited, three regular and nine student paper nominees spread out over the different sessions in the conference. In this particular compilation, we will present the following pitches. The session numbers and the currently planned time and date of the presentation are included for your reference. For completeness, here is the full list of nominated papers. All best paper nominees are explicitly indicated as such in the conference program. They have been given non-overlapping time slots, so you can attend them all if you like. These 17 papers form a good sample of recent research results from both industry and academia around the globe and showcase the quality, breadth and depth of the CSC conference. Please join us for a great gathering of students, researchers, industrial leaders and experts worldwide. Get inspired by great ideas, get recharged with great educational tutorials, learn about trends and state-of-the-art developments in IC design. And just as important, meet colleagues and make new friends for life. For now, enjoy these inspiring pitches, and I hope to see you either physically or virtually at CICC 2022. Hello, everyone. I'm glad to present to you our research about a solid state scanny detox LiDAR system with custom transmit and receiver ASICs. This work combines two major innovations. The first innovation is the design of a novel multi-channel VXO driver with multi-channel addressable VXOs. The second innovation is a new single photon sensor which incorporates SPAT pixel binning along with AI-based poster processing spatial upscaling. In the transmit module, the multi-channel VXO chip is bounded on top of the VXO driver for better signal integrity and a smaller package size. The output optical pulse signal is recorded on die by the on-chip optical oscilloscope. For the receiver module, the proposed novelty is a pixel binning skin of the SPAT sensor such that the spatial resolution can be reconfigurable based upon the signal-to-noise ratio calculated by the histogram SNR. Finally, a spatial upscaling algorithm based upon a neural network is implemented to recover the reduced resolution from the pixel binning. This figure shows an optical waveform with a rise time less than 100 picoseconds and fall time less than 150 picoseconds measured with the external oscilloscope. It can be seen that the shape of the optical waveform measured by the on-chip oscilloscope is almost identical to the waveform measured by the external oscilloscope. This figure illustrates the signal-to-noise ratio showing the improvement observed by the pixel binning and using the training data obtained from the intensity information, the high-resolution depth image is reconstructed by the AI-based algorithm. The depth image is shown at 4 meters. This concludes my introduction of our paper. Thank you for your time and welcome to attend our talk. Thank you. Hello. In this talk, we present a new topology, the switched photovoltaic DC-DC converter. Challenges of solar energy harvesting is to upconvert the low PV cell voltage to the required supply level. Bush converters require either a large off-chip inductor or area-consuming on-chip capacitors. To resolve this, a solution was proposed to reconfigure the number of PV cells in series for DC-DC conversion. But the problem is, stacked cells are sensitive to mismatch. The weak cell in the stack defines the output current and hence the output power. Fortunately, a PV cell has a large intrinsic capacitance of about 9.4 nanofarad per 1 mA short circuit current. The intrinsic cap provides an opportunity for the implicit DC-DC conversion. When a mismatch is detected, we propose to connect the two cells in parallel, wherein the extra charge of the stronger cell is injected into weak cell and hence their voltages get balanced. After voltage balancing, the PV cells are connected back in series and the extra charge stored in the weak cell is transferred to the output, instead of being lost. By periodically switching the cells, the proposed implicit DC-DC conversion can extract the maximum available power under a mismatched condition without using any additional capacitors or an inductor. 
A 5 ratio SPV converter is implemented in 180 nanometer technology and evaluated with 7 commercially available PV cells. To validate the robust performance of the SPV under mismatch, measurements are done with the first cell being 50% shaded. And for fair comparison, the harvesting efficiency of the prior solution is measured by stacking the same PV cells used for SPV characterization using 30 AWG wires and the first cell being 50% shaded. The measurement results demonstrate the real, reliable performance of the SPV under mismatched conditions. Under partial shading conditions, the proposed SPV achieves more than 24.3% higher harvesting efficiency compared to prior solution. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Bo Slim from Georgia Tech. Due to the exponential growth in wireless mobile devices used such as autonomous vehicles and unmanned aircraft systems, there is a rising demand for high-speed MIMO wireless links to navigate these increasingly dynamic environments. Current digital arrays require fast fine beam alignment over the entire field of view for mobile uh, millimeter wave applications. However, traditional digital backend calculations cannot meet these low latency requirements. Therefore, our proposed and implemented analog front ends provides a way to enable rapid spectral spatial front end filtering and beam forming. It facilitates wideband millimeter wave digital arrays to handle varying strong blocker signals with unknown frequency and angle of arrival in practical EM scenarios. Implemented autonomous 2D MIMO receiver array provides wideband 23 to 37 GHz operations with highest of 29.5 dB of conversion gain and a minimal noise figure of 4.8 dB. It achieves greater than 27.1 dB single-stage spatial filtering and 40 dB for two-stage spatial filtering. The front end supports 2.4 gigabits per second, 64 quant modulation signals, and is the only scalable millimeter wave 2x2 MIMO receiver array architecture that can perform these rapid automatic spatial filtering on the unknown blockers and beam forming on the unknown desired signals over the entire field of view. For more detailed circuit implementations and measurement results, I encourage you to visit our presentations our paper, and paper. Thank you very much for your attention.